minute uh, compassion and empathy for your client. Um, you know, it, 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 there may not be any larger qualities that you could possibly have uh, as a trainer for your client. Um, and you could have PhDs, uh, you could have three PhDs with an MD and 20 years of experience. And um, if you don't have that, you're worthless to me, you know, and you're worthless to your client. Now, if you're the type of person that thinks, you know, this is all about exercise science and, uh, you know, I can teach the perfect back squat and this and that and the other, or at least in your opinion that you could, um, you know, if you don't down, you know, can't come down to planet Earth and really consider who you're working with, their thoughts and opinions, their emotions, their beliefs, their, their struggles, their barriers, their difficulties, uh, then you are just a pompous jackass. And you really got to, you have to understand that. And I would rather take a, a trainer who... who has no experience and a high school diploma with all the compassion and empathy in the world who wants to sincerely help someone and make that a good per trainer effective as a technical trainer uh, because I know that they will do whatever it takes to help this person and no matter what degree of difficulty, what barrier they encounter, they're going to do what it takes to help this person succeed uh, regardless of their inadequacies in other areas. So, um, so let me make that very clear that it, you know, if you don't really care for them beyond simply, you know, educating them on this is how you squat, this is how you do a bench press, um, then you're not really a trainer or a coach, in my opinion. And coach is the right word. Uh, coaching entails, you know, that enthusiasm, that care, that passion, that 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 drive to help them succeed and want them to succeed. And, and you know, we've talked before about wanting this uh, for your client worse than they want it for themselves, uh, and because they need you. That you know, they they have so many psychological and physical barriers. You know, negativity in their head, uh, failures that have prevented them from having success on their own and why they need you. And that's your job. You know, you got to get them past those barriers and those walls of not being able to do this mentally in the first place. Hey, you have the solution. You know how to get them there. They just need to follow your lead. But there's going to be days where they're just, they don't have the energy, they don't have the focus, the drive, whatever it is, where you need to bring that enthusiasm and, and power and compassion for them. But you don't need to be a dick either at the same time. So whatever your method is, some may be drill sergeant, some may be uh, your, your buddy, buddy, best friend. I'm saying that you need to be a little bit of both and knowing how to be a chameleon and being able to change and adapt yourself to be what that client needs that day. You need to have that range and versatility to know when they need a drill sergeant, to know when they need a buddy and a friend uh, to help them get through the good times, the bad times. But either way, you're getting them there to the destination uh, of course, no probably real destination, but getting them to their goals and, and, and getting them what they came for. Um, so, you know, without the, that compassion and em empathy to really give a shit and care about them, and, you know, uh, you know, if they have a sincere, legitimate problem, know how to handle that. You don't have to be coddling and, and uh, you know, uh, baby them. That's not what I'm saying, but know how to treat each situation appropriately and uh, not to, uh, you know, uh, uh, condescend them and make them feel silly or stupid for something that they're incapable of doing or perhaps it's a cue that they're not getting or you're coaching they're not getting you know sometimes you know you might have a hard-headed client that may not like the way you're co cueing your coaching but you need to adjust and, and you need to adapt to them and it's not about you it's about them and how you can learn to communicate most effectively with them not saying you need to be a pushover but I'm saying you do need to find other ways and other tools and other means of communication whether it be ver verbal physical uh, visual you name it uh, whatever it takes uh, but if you've only got one way of doing things, then uh, you're not going to make it too long. And uh, I suggest you really find uh, more tools in your psychological and physical tactical tool teaching toolbox. So um, if you don't care about your client deep down at the uh, most basic human personal level, uh, I don't see you having too much success with the clients across the board. If you want to be the type of trainer that can help any client that ever walks in front of you, that ever steps uh, into your door, into your gym, that has to be there with all the amazing knowledge that you have and experience you have, with compassion, enthusiasm, uh, to, to and uh, empathy for them, and understanding how to work for them through their, their good times and bad. You bring that together, and you're going to make some magic happen.